I'm up in far northwestern California by Arcata in California. A beautiful little town and this beautiful area here of redwoods. This is a second growth redwood forest. Quite a nice place. Now I love photographing here and it's a lot of fun. But you know, as driving up here, and it's a long drive from Southern California, it's easy to start thinking about a lot of other things than where I'm going. It's easy to think about the challenges that I am facing as everybody is today. You know, today there's a lot of challenges from the economy to the environment to, to all sorts of things. And those are distractions that can help us lose focus on what's really important. And I think as photographers, there's an awful lot of things that can keep us from focusing on what's truly important to us as photographers. And one of those things is just things that are related to technology. You say, oh my gosh, look, this new camera, I better get that new camera. Or, oh, there's this new lens, better buy that new lens. Or, the, oh, wait a minute, this new software, I better get this software. Now that's not to say that any of those things might not be helpful and might not be useful if they actually truly help you in your focus on what's important to you as a photographer. I think it's really easy to be distracted when you're out photographing too. You can be distracted by simply in your head going, oh wait a minute, why am I taking this picture? Nobody's going to like it at the camera club. Or, you know, for me, and I, this is true, it'll sometimes happen, I'll say, oh, I don't know, why should I be taking that? Such and such an editor won't like that. Well, that's crazy. That, that is a sure way to help you lose focus on what's important. Let me show you kind of an analogy. Suppose that you're going across a log bridge that goes across a ravine. Now it's easy to get across if you stay focused on your path and where you need to go, where you're ending. On the other hand, if as you go across that bridge you start looking down over here, looking down over there, oh my gosh look at that, oh my gosh look at that, and you start being distracted, all of a sudden it becomes a lot less safe. You start to lose your footing. Maybe it's a little slippery and the logs up here do get slippery because this is called a temperate rainforest for a good reason. It gets wet. And then you slip, you're hurt and so forth. You've lost focus. I think as photographers, we all have something unique. We all have something that we can share with the world in the way that we see the world. And where it is easy to get distracted from that is by starting to say, oh, I should be photographing this because somebody else does that. Or I should be photographing this because oh, I saw that in this magazine. Now, it's not to say you can't learn from those things, but if they are keeping you from being truly who you are and keeping you from photographing what is truly important to you and sharing things about the world through your photography that is truly important, then you've lost your focus. And I think it's an important thing for all of us to keep in mind, and, and I think this goes way beyond photography, it's true in our lives too, is how do we stay focused in a world that is filled with distractions? And one way that we do it is to keep reminding ourselves is that focus and staying focused on what is true to us, what is true and important to us is going to help us stay the path, to get across that log, to get to where we need to be as photographers.